Scottish whisky is exceptionally versatile. People over the world drink it in many, many different ways with ice, with water on its own. It's part of a cocktail. There are no rules to drinking whisky. But when you're nosing and tasting whisky, there are some simple rules you can follow to allow you to get the very best character and allow that whisky to reveal itself. So the first thing that many people do when assessing whisky is look at the colour, and rightly so, because the colour can tell you something about the casks in which the whisky has matured. We can see that one has got a lovely golden colour and the other's got a beautiful copper colour. And that's because this glass is whisky which has been matured in an American oak cask and this one has been matured in a Spanish sherry cask. Swirl it round the glass and breathe in the aromas. After all, smell is the most sensitive, it's the most evocative of all of your senses, so use it as much as you can. And when you nose a whisky, it's a really good idea just to open your mouth slightly to allow the aroma to circulate in through your nose and out through your mouth. When we think about what we taste, we can detect what's sweet on the end of our tongue, what's sour and acid down the sides, and what's bitter at the back. All the rest is coming from our noses. The third characteristic is the body, but before we taste the whisky, we're going to add some water, about 50-50. And what that does is it cuts the alcohol content down to about 20% alcohol, which is the optimum strength for nosing and tasting whisky, as opposed to drinking whisky. And when you nose it again with water, the whisky is now opened up. It liberates all those beautiful flavours and characteristics. We've tempted you, so it's time to taste it. And as you taste it, swirl the whiskey around your mouth. I take in all those flavours that's on your palate, but equally start to think about the weight of the whiskey. Is it a full-bodied whiskey? Is it light-bodied? And finally, you want to examine the finish. Does it stay with you a long time or does it simply vanish? And if you follow these simple rules for nosing whisky, tasting whisky, the finest aged Scotch whiskies, then you'll get the very best from them.